Greetings, traveler. What's your strategy this time, partner? That one might make all the difference. It can be really difficult to understand this early game for quest, so I will do my best to explain what's what's going on. So what you are trying to think about in the early game is what kind of quest can you hit in terms of requirement? Sometimes you have a chance to have a lot of minions in the hand and you are ready to just drop them on the board and complete, say in this case, play X amount of elementals quest. So in this particular situation, I'm going to be more inclined to hold cards because I have a real shot at completely demolishing a quest here. Now I got one. So what I can do here is... Coin, sell... Double buy, freeze the mistake. Our opponent has the coin naga. So what I can do is take three less damage at the cost of one elemental played. I think that's fine. So this is the kind of stuff you want to evaluate, right? The mistake is a everything type. So it counts for elemental too, but it could get us ahead on anything else. Hey, Afro Cut, that is an AC, but haha. -ha. I get it, because there's noise. It's funny. Good one. Wait, it's turn three. I could just sell and hold, right? Alright, let's see what we get here. Don't get the battle cry quest. You get three offered, right? Seven elementals, that's what I mean. It's done this turn, I think. Oh, we could go Golden Buddy for what well, we do this, right? That's a new one as well. Because Murloc Holmes Buddy isn't good if you get it too late. Five, six, seven. Yeah, we just have it. Insane. So that's the kind of plays I love doing, but it has to be a good enough chance that you hit it. I could take Felimental and evolve that next turn. Or I can take Bronze Warden to take less damage, but I think I'm evolving next turn, right? You can coin sell by a card, but that's not needed. Keep my coin. It would be nice to go Golden Buddy, right? Golden Buddy is fun. Wow, only one person took it? It still gets offered to everyone, right? Wow. You don't get to pick what type of minion gets added? No. It should say at the start, right? Yeah, turn four quest complete. That's the second time today. It's because I love taking these chances with uh, holding elementals and shit. And we're on 31. <laughs> Turn 5 Bran? Don't mind me. Put the Murloc on the board. Hmm. I do already have Murlocs here. S says thanks. Yeah, but I'm not holding that, right? Also, Brand for her might not even be good. Just gonna go for damage for this fight. Great. I can bring in more powerful minions now. Yeah. 
We never hold the card there. There's no way. Yeah, this is the turn she fights me without taking damage for it. But she gets a brand, who cares? Yes, devil's in the details, doesn't matter. Definitely the right play, I don't care. They got level roll and transform in the shop. Yeah, we can go for Kali with the brand. It's also the uh, thing here. Yeah, I'll put a queen on the board, I guess. I guess not that one. Oh, look. So I can triple coin for queen or I can cycle scout. It's worth the cycle. I gotta take the rock pool. I'm gonna have to sell next turn anyway, and that's an extra type. Ran in the back for more DPS. One, two, three, four, five. Max max adapts, I guess, if we keep Bran. If we throw Bran, you can adapt one more of it. There's no way. <laughs> you just want health on her right now. That's so disgusting, dude. Wait, are they even gonna kill the queen? They're not. Alright. I mean it was already 15 anyway. We keep evolving Queen for Calic. You can evolve the shop, so it seems. Silly to evolve queen, right? You can keep evolving a 6-drop over and over, or you can keep making more and more 6-drops. The thing is, you do want to level, but we'll see. Let's see if we get an extra coin here. They have the taunt thing, so I thought they would buy the taunt. Hmm. I think I just evolved this in the shop and freeze it. Buy it if I really want to. Ooh. What did they have again? Cookie. I don't care, I just play it and then evolve it, right? You're down a million and Gives me money. Cookie monster. One, two. We're really strong. We could sell Saltir, or it could go Anomaly. I guess I'm gonna try to save some money, right? I don't want to go too crazy here. Better hire a recruit while you can. Because I feel like I'm strong enough, I want to save some money. I have a 4-drop here already for the boogie, and then I can go for a 3-drop from this guy, or I can buy a 3-drop. I didn't want to open up the chance to take damage this turn by not playing anything with boogie, because it was pretty good. But I also didn't want to spend all my money just going full tempo, because I don't need it. I'm gonna be strong enough. So that's really the... That, those are the really difficult decisions where you have to go a little bit tempo, but enough to be greedy to turn after. And as you can see, with the amount of health we have left, I think without any boogie buffs, it's not that good. But if we go full crazy, we deal 15 already, so like we don't have to be stronger. We can level, play the lookout, go from there. Then evolve lookout, see if we get another boogie or something. No 3-drop here, anyway. Take Scour just for the proc, I guess. The 5-drop. Baron. Don't really need it. I do have Scour Finn.
Spoiler on the board. Need a four, right? Three and a four. Three, four. Five. Hold a six. Base skill with that. All right, positioning and stuff can use some work. But we have Scourfin with Baron. And then... Oh, Jesus. Somebody has Scourfin with Baron. What the fuck is this? Could you not remove Reborn here? I worked hard for it. What the fuck is this? I don't even kill the Baron? Ugh. Dude, me taking Max here or close to is actually so ridiculous. Okay. I want to be on 6 for more boogies. We don't necessarily have to do this, though. Yeah, maybe I don't care spending money on it. Now I got 4. He's getting dragons. Not exactly sure what I'm looking for. Another boogie, I guess. Tissa's kind of interesting, but I don't think I can make it work. This is two spells every turn, but it's a bit late. Very helpful, thank you. Reborn Coiler, I guess. Evolve Boogie and go Dragons. Those suggestions I always like... It must be so nice to play your games. Let's Evolve Boogie and hit a Caligus and then just go Dragons. It's that, it's that easy. Sorry, sorry, I don't have to react that way. It's just... It's it's so weird uh, like to just hear that and be like, yeah, that, I agree. Like, that would, that would be nice. Yeah, I don't get the Reborn now, right? The Baron is actually just griefing a bit. I don't want to just play boogie monster stuff. I don't want to recycle the Uther. No, that's good. I want that. Get the magma lock here. Good justice. Could go with upstart. Not sure if that's worth it. Yeah, that's good. thing. Alright, now I have a massive thing. Okay, now we have a plan. But Wow, this was so fucking difficult to really, really engineer a board, but we did it. That random reborn coiler is also just not so bad. And now we have, um, we can taunt more shit. We can taunt the queens to start playing around them, Leroying the upbeats.
Wow, that was that was good. Man, that was good ordering. But yeah. now it now it's the difficult thing of just looking at your board and then realizing, okay, what's actually gonna win fights? What's gonna win the game? All right, we can go full boogie. Full boogie is decent. That's funny. We can buy it and roll, I think. That's quite the army you're building. That's amazing. I'm just gonna transmog sixes. We don't really need this. I have to get rid of the brand. Alright, we'll figure it out. Now every 6 drop buffs our board big. We stealth our big minions so we don't get Leroy's. We put a small minion in the front to deal with their shit. Okay, pretty good overall. Pretty good. Or Leroy. Oh, that hits. Oh, Alright. We're not dead, and we could even die, depending on the coiler. 25 damage. That doesn't buff it right now. Now we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Oh, no, no, we're not. Ugh. Ugh, that was annoying. We're fine with every hit where our, th our queen doesn't go into Baron. That's the one hit where it doesn't go well. We just want sixes now. Oh, you're doing this. Right, you're buffing the shop and then eating. Poison's gonna be very good. Mm. Alright, we have a queen. Six, 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 six. Basically, do we keep the upstart or not? I think Belcher's better. Just playing cards is okay. Keep up the momentum, friend. All right, we know they have Rylak. This is bad positioning. We know they have a Rylak. That's actually so bad. I don't lose my poison versus it though, because it's already gone with Nadina. But I got zero value from those uh, three first poison hits from Queen. <laughs> Man, imagine if I was holding a Queen or something. That'd be so good. I can live, but we need to dodge. No, I'm always alive. Okay. What could be the point in bringing in quests? I'm gonna let you think long and hard about that. What could be the point of play? Sorry, I'm being condescending, that's not good. I guess the, the question to me doesn't make sense. I guess. Uh, it's probably this, they buffed it with the thing, right? 
Do you change things up? And people like change, and I think it's good. I think quests are great, and it's always the same thing. There's just there's an adjustment period where the game is not as balanced as it could be. Where things are blatantly broken at the start, and then they nerf them, and then it calms down. And I guess it's because I've seen this over and over and over and over again. For me, it's a little tiresome. It's like... Every time it's like, oh my god, the game is doomed. It's like, no, no, the game's not doomed. It's fine. Relax. I guess I should actually just roll for Leroy. I don't think I should be buffing. Yeah, I think I need to triple this or I need to hit Leroy. No Dragon Strand. Sap could be good. Sap traded with a poison. Boogie Monster eats here. Man, this Sindore is kicking my ass. Come on, bro. What is that hit? What is that hit? Alright. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Magma Lock carry. Let's go, baby. I really like this random reborn coiler on my board. Been doing a ton of work with popping uh, popping death rattles and shields and shit. Magma Lock's always lethal as well. That's good. But yeah, so essentially the the reason why there are updates is because they want to change the game because if something gets too stale, people stop playing it. It's just the fact that every time they make a big adjustment like this, a lot of people return to the game because they want to see what it's all about. They want to play it. They want to see... Um, there's no one dead, right? Yeah. Need to move this up a little bit, actually. Go big or go home, I always say. I need Leroy, I think the rest doesn't matter too much. Nice. Now the positioning and stuff gets tricky. Probably move Belcher up a bit. Uh, unlucky. 50 50 there. I guess I could have not taunted the Queen. Yeah, not taunting Queen was better, but even then, probably not good enough. The board is really good. That's okay, GG. And they have Reborn Rylak last time? Yes.